guys, so today I have a backdrop up, duh. Um, I just wanted to put it up because one, I want to know what you guys think of it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not care? And two, it's up because my background is full of friggin PR packages and mail and stuff. I just have been too lazy to put it all away. So I was like, eh, just check this up. <laughs> I was also just kind of like filming some Instagram tutorials because I haven't done it in a while. Um, and I usually have a backdrop up. So I just kind of like went with it. I wasn't actually planning on filming a YouTube video today, but I thought I might as well because I really want to try out the new Kylie collection, which I'm like so confused about. I'm not gonna lie. It is the Halloween collection. This is what the box that I got sent looks like and on the inside you open it up and you have oh my god this is so awkward all of the makeup inside and the reason I'm like confused about this collection is I'm just like how does one get away with making a Halloween makeup collection like especially at Kylie's price point I'm like is this what the average consumer wants in their life because like I would never look at Halloween makeup and think like oh yeah I need to pay a lot of money for that I'd happily buy like NYX or Wet n Wild or something like that because it's cheap but I don't know, what do you guys think of this concept? Like, would you splurge on Halloween themed makeup or would you not? Like, comment below, let me know. But regardless, since it was in my mail, I thought I might as well try it out and give you guys my review, especially because I am so confused. Let's see what the actual like makeup is like, the colors, and let's see if it's something you could actually use like on an everyday basis as well, like not just for Halloween, because I think that's really important, especially since I feel like by the time half of us order this stuff, it'll arrive and Halloween will probably be like gone anyway. I think it's launching like when I put this video up like tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. I can't remember. I looked it up but I've forgotten. You have a matte liquid lipstick and liner which is this one way over here. Stuff's dropping everywhere. You have a eyeshadow palette. You have two glitterized liquids which I saw on the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram and they looked very interesting. We have a spooky glitter gloss down here. Oh my nails are kind of insane. This was not planned. <laughs> we have a Kylie highlight. Um, we have the Kylie Jenner lipsticks. Four of those as well. So I think I'll swatch all of the lip products for you and I'll just play around with the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter um, and we'll just see what happens. I'm not necessarily doing a Halloween look. I know it's kind of shit this year. I haven't done any Halloween makeup tutorials, but to be honest, to be completely transparent with you guys, I literally just have not really had any good ideas. I'm not lying. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I've done so many in the past and I just don't know what's left. I know it sounds stupid, but I just... I'm not feeling super inspired. I kind of came back from my trip and instead of being inspired to do makeup, like Halloween makeup tutorials, I've just been so inspired just to do like chill get ready with me videos and try out new makeup and stuff like that. It's kind of been what I've been vibing, so I don't know. Um, next year, if you guys want me to do like Halloween tutorials, feel free to like leave suggestions because I need them. Like I've done so many in the past that I'm just like, what's next? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just like at a loss right now. I'm so sorry if some of you guys were like looking forward to it. And even today, I don't know if I'm going to do like like Halloween look. I'm just gonna play with it. So the very first item we're gonna play with today is gonna be the eyeshadows because yeah I'm just like super intrigued by this palette. Oh it's cute. Matte black packaging with like a silver um, reflect kind of drop you know. It's got nine colors as always pretty much with her palettes and then the packaging is quite cute. It's like a mummy with skulls and everything. Um, I was kind of expecting for there to be more Halloween kind of themed packaging but it's not necessarily a bad thing at least if you're just using this on an everyday basis you're not going to feel weird about it throughout the year if you're not like a huge Halloween fan. Oh these colors are so pretty. I haven't actually seen like these colors before so this is how they all look. They're definitely very like Halloween vibey colors but I feel like you could really create some beautiful looks with some of these colors. Like there's a deep shimmery gold. There's kind of like a blue black kind of situation, you know, like a duochrome. You've got your like orange, which is a little bit different, but fun. And then there's some like wearable kind of like, I don't know, like brownie shades. What would you call that? That's like a golden brown kind of shimmer. A dark purple. You've got like a few like neutral kind of shades in the middle there. So first impression on the colors, I do like them. I feel like that's one thing Kylie does really well. Um, even if you're not like a huge fan of her makeup, I feel like her eyeshadow palettes are always quite like different. She thinks of like some cool color combinations, I think. So I think that's quite cool. I have no idea what kind of look we are going to go for right now, but I'll try to use like a few of the different shades. So I'm going to start with this shade right here on a blender brush. 
just feel like it's the most obvious kind of transition shade color and I'm not using a primer today. I am quite a big fan of most of Kylie's eyeshadows. I wasn't a fan of the court ones but that was about it. I like the quality. I think they're easy to blend and pigmented and like I said I like the colors. I'm interested to try the highlighter actually because I feel like those have been really hit or miss with me. Like some of them I've tried or like one of them I tried I loved it um, and then others I've tried and they're like meh. So <laughs> we'll see what it's like. I'm just applying this shade straight into my crease and it's a beautiful color. It's like kind of warm but it's not too warm if that makes any sense because I kind of am getting over the real orangey shades for you know neutrals at the moment. I feel like it's time for something new, but I just don't know what yet. Maybe cool tones, I don't know. Yeah, this is a beautiful shade, it's so easy to blend. Oh look, I'm using a Kylie Jenner brush too. That was not even blend. I don't even know where I got this brush from, like I'm pretty sure it came in a palette. Now I'm gonna go in with the same brush, and this is risky, but I wanna go for this kind of like khaki green color. This one just here. It's very pigmented, I can see that straight away. I'm just gonna kinda like pop that in the crease as well. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. We're just playing today. Let me know if you like these videos where I just kind of like play with new collections as well. I feel like I don't do it very often like, you know, exclusively to one kind of release. Like I often do full face first impressions where I try out lots of new stuff but I never really focus on just like, you know, one release at a time. So let me know if you prefer it like this or if you prefer like full face or like what you like best. And if you're wondering about my base products today, um, I did film an Instagram mini tutorial so it'll be up soon or it's already up or something, you know, you know the drill. I'm like actually a really big fan of this color I feel like it would look so cool all over the eyelid but I'm just like kind of putting it in the beginning and blending it into the crease. I'm going to take a little bit of the orange shade I'm using the same brush because I'm going to blend it into that green again and just kind of like pop that on the other half of my eyelid. I literally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the theme of the day. This is like the most amazing pumpkin shade. It's actually very pigmented as well. Like that's just me like placing it. We'll blend it out now. Kind of blending it into that first color we used. That's actually such a fun color. I like that. So these colors that I've used so far are all matte. So I'll definitely try out some shimmers next. I'm just taking a blender brush and smoothing out the edges before I continue. This eye look would be good for Halloween, just like <laughs> with any kind of like spooky costume, like witch makeup or something. I think this year for Halloween, me and Hamish are going to dress up as pirates. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I'm just applying a little bit more of that first color we used in the crease, like that kind of like brown shade. Remember this is with no primer too. These are way more pigmented than some of those ones from that court collection. <laughs> That was like probably like the most disappointed I've been in this makeup ever. But anyway, so those are some of the eyeshadows. It looks a little bit muddy just because of the colors I've kind of chosen to mix together. But I think I'm going to apply like a shimmer just over those edges to kind of cover it up. Um, I just don't really know what color to go into next. Maybe this middle one. I'm just going to swap. Okay, yeah, that's super pigmented. Let's just like pop some of that right into that kind of area where the khaki color matches with the orange and just like oh no no we're just playing oh they've got the glitters too before i continue with any more shades i think i'm gonna look at the glitters and just see if i want to use them somewhere as well that's super pigmented though that's just going on dry i'm impressed it's kind of like i've done a reverse look usually you do like the brighter color on the inner corner and then like the deeper shade on the outer corner I've kind of done it a bit different. <laughs> so the packaging on these ones is like purple with a green cobweb, which is quite cool. This color is like screaming my name. So there's like a gold color and then the orangey bronzy kind of shade. And the golden one is called Hello Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then the bronze one is Witch and Famous. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the name. Literally, since we're just smacking colors on our eyes right now, I'm going to try the Witch and Famous. And I'm just going to apply some of that kind of like blending into my lash line. It's very pigmented. I'll just actually swatch both of them on my hand for you. So there's the more like orangey bronzy one. And then the yellow kind of gold. So I'm just kind of applying that to my lash line. Almost like an eyeliner. I actually really like the applicator too. It's kind of like a lip gloss, but it's quite thin if you turn it on its side. I'm just going to kind of like look it out a little. Are these like a new product? I haven't actually tried these before if they are not new. But if these are new, she should definitely release some more colors of these because I really like that. It's real pigmented, real creamy. That would look super nice just all over the eyelid as well if you didn't want to use it as like an eyeliner or whatever. Back into the palette, I'm going to go in with the khaki again and just apply that underneath. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of fallout from this shade, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I 
It's like smudged into my concealer a little and it looks kind of like ugly now. You're living your learn. I don't know what it is. I just like love having my base on before my eye makeup. I think it's because it looks more like balanced. Whereas if I do my eye makeup first, I'm always like, whoa, this is like intense, you know? Just like using my brush to kind of flick it off. It's not like terrible, but it is definitely like there. It's kind of stuck in. Mm. I'm going to go back in with the orangey kind of liquid eyeshadow. I'm just applying it all across the bottom of my eye. And then I'm using a little pencil brush just to smudge it out. Such a pretty color. It's like super copper. I'm just like a huge fan of that one. I don't know if I really want to go in with like much more right now. I feel like I have lost a little bit of intensity with the orange somewhere along the way. So I'm just going to like put on a little bit more. I think my favorite shade so far is actually that shimmery one we used on the, like, in this part of my eye. I love that color. Oh my god, I just got so much fallout again of that orange color. Can you see it all just, like, over here? I don't know if you can see. I guess just make sure you tap off your brush. <laughs> I didn't. I actually quite like the eyeshadow palette. The fallout's a little bit annoying. The actual colors themselves, I think they're quite fun. They're a little bit different. If you like the colors in the palette and you think you would use them just, like, for looks throughout the year, I'd recommend it. The actual quality is good, minus the fallout. I really just want to swatch this duochrome shade. Oh, wait. I swatched the wrong one. Okay. I swatched the two corner shades. That color is so dope. I love it. So yeah, the colors are really cool. I love the assortment. I just want to swatch the purple as well while we're here. That's so pigmented. Look at that. I do actually like it, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be like super crazy. It is a little bit crazy, but it's not like so crazy that you're not going to get wear out of it. For the eye colors, I really like the quality. This is so nice. I just really want to do a look with this all over my eyes and then actually put like a copper pigment on top. I think it would look amazing. Now next up, I feel like this is where we're going to get into the murky territory like I don't know if I'm gonna love the lip shades and the highlighter I've not actually seen the highlighter yet straight away though I love the packaging it's super cute <laughs> like the little ghost like how adorable so this highlighter is called go ghost let's see what it looks like outside of the pack I would not be mad if this was the packaging I'd use that all year because it's so cute so the packaging itself um, is in a plastic container Looks like this. It's just plain black with the silver. And then it's got the writing on the back with the name. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay, this is definitely the kind of highlighter I feel like. It's not the kind of thing I would reach for on an everyday basis. I'm just gonna swatch it for you. It is like a mint green. It's definitely quite unique. The pigment is unreal. Like that is so pigmented. Let's just do like a little light touch. It's super pigmented. It feels very buttery and smooth. It's just the color that worries me a little bit. Like I do love like the Spotlight palette. Is it the Spotlight? No, Black Light palette by BH Cosmetics. And like, you know, the fun Anastasia Beverly Hills colors. But yeah, I don't reach them very often, especially if it's green. Like I'd probably go for like a lilac, a pink or something like that. Like a yellow rather than green. So I'm actually going to first apply this with my little pencil brush. And I'm going to try this on in my inner corner. Okay. I feel like it's less scary once I'm actually applying it. Okay, it's kind of more like golden when you apply it to your skin. Well, at least on my inner corner it is. It's like kind of greeny, kind of golden, kind of like iridescent white looking. Not white, but you know. One thing is for sure, it's not as terrifying as it was on my finger. <laughs> it's almost like a light gold up there. It's kind of fun. Like, I don't hate it. So, I guess now let's try it out on our face. Before I put this on my face, I'm just going to put on my mascara and lashes and everything. Okay, so now my lashes are on. I just chucked on Cupid by XO Beauty. And then the mascara I used was Roller Lash by Benefit. So, now let's go ahead and apply the highlighter. So, I'm just using a shimmer tulip brush. And let's just apply it and see what happens. Oh god, I feel like I tapped. I feel like if you tap it off, it just like all comes off your brush. <laughs> There's no in between. Okay, that's super subtle. This is quite like a fluffy brush, so let's try one a little bit more dense. So this is my brush coming out on X would be very soon. It's filthy. But yeah, see that's giving a way more intense effect. And it's definitely shimmery, but it's not like over the top like chunky shimmer it's a very fine looking shimmer it kind of comes off just like more gold when it's on your actual face if you look really close though and like you kind of face like away can you see it kind of looks like an awkward greeny color on my cheekbone so i feel like you wouldn't want to like pile this particular shade on at least not on my skin tone 
because it starts looking quite like I don't think muddy is the right word but it's just a bit strange it's just kind of like stripy looking I don't know so I've pre-opened all the lipsticks and straight away I'm like Ugh, I don't know I don't know about this at all there's like one color I like and the others I'm like nervous to try on but you know they're always different when you put them on so we'll just go for it first I'm going to try on this gloss just by itself on bare lips so you can see the color this is called handsome devil and the packaging is like little skeletons dancing I suppose and the color itself is this like kind of pumpkin-y like very pale color with like blue and gold reflect it's quite unique so let's pop this one on it's incredibly pigmented okay so that is the first color I can see it would look beautiful on some people I don't think it looks terrible but it's just really not my cup of tea I have to say though the formula is really good it's not gritty or sticky it's very smooth it smells super good and the pigment is incredible. I'm even quite a fan of the little brush tip applicator. I thought I wouldn't like it because I felt like it would just apply way too much. And it does apply quite a bit. You still need to wipe it off. But it's quite precise. You can get a nice sharp line with it. So for me, like I'd give this like a 5 out of 10 because I just probably would never ever wear this again. But the actual quality itself, if you do enjoy this look, is good. I just don't like the look of it on me. You know. Next up, let's go straight for the lip kit. So the packaging on this one's really cool. It's got little bats in the background. Love the colors. It's got a shimmery lip. This is called Bite Me. So of course you get your lip pencil and your liquid lipstick. I love Kylie lip kits. Um, once again, it's called Bite Me. It's kind of like a pink undertone. The lip pencil is just like always like nice and creamy. I'm a big fan of those. Um, and then the Bite Me is a matte liquid lipstick, which is my second favorite Kylie formula. My favorite is the Velvet Matte, I think it's called. It's a little bit more forgiving. The matte can be quite drying, but I still like it. It lasts forever. Like, these are long wear AF. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Applies smooth as always, like, pigmented. So it's still drying. But the pigment is really good. The color is beautiful. It's just like a really deep red with like a pink undertone to it. I think this would look really stunning maybe without this eye makeup. You know, just like a smoky eye or some minimal eye makeup, lashes, liner. That's what that lip kit looks like. I'm not sure if this is exclusive to the Halloween collection or if this is like a color you can always get. But Kylie has so many reds I can't keep up. And these are kind of a little bitch to get off. I'm going to try this actually, I've never tried it before. This is the Urban Decay Meltdown Makeup Remover. It's purple. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh look, magic. Okay, so then there are four lipstick shades, which I don't think I've actually tried yet. This is what this packaging looks like. So the first one we have here is called Spider Bite. Looks like this. I do like how it says Kylie in here. And it's a nice sharp bullet, which is good. Ooh, that's really pigmented. What's this formula? Matte. This is a matte one. So the color itself is actually really pretty. I was kind of like thinking I was going to hate it because it is very intense. But it's actually quite nice. I think obviously if you changed up the eye makeup, it's just a really nice deep purple shade. The next shade I'm going to do is called Haunted. And this one, it looks really pretty at first glance, but it's like metallic. So I'm very nervous. You guys know metallic for me is very hit or miss. Like I like some metallic shades, mostly like pinks and nudes. But when it's a bright color, I get a little bit nervous. However, I think it could look cool with the eye makeup. It's very, very creamy and pigmented. Still not my favorite, to be honest, but I don't know. Is this like your cup of tea? I don't know. So it does look pretty. It's still not my cup of tea. I wouldn't really go for this personally. The quality itself is fine. It doesn't feel gritty. It's a little tiny bit streaky if you rub your lips together because the little like pigments, the metallic pigments move around a little. So if you were going to wear this, I'd probably use a lip line underneath just to make sure you don't get any of those kind of like streaky bits, you know? I'm enjoying the formula of the stick lipsticks though. Next up, we are going to do a monster. Oh, this is scary. It's kind of like, is it metallic? It is. It reminds me of the khaki green one. I used it in a tutorial. I can't remember when. I think it might have even been an Instagram tutorial. There's a Kylie lip kit and it is this kind of green, except it's just matte. And I prefer that because I just don't love the metallic. But the actual color itself is really cool. So that is Monster On. It's definitely cool. I feel like this is like a cool, like unique one. I don't actually mind the metallic so much now that it's on as well. Like I definitely like it more than the previous color. Is it a must have? Of course not. But if you do love unique lip shades, then this is definitely unique. I don't think I have anything like it. And it's definitely a little bit 
deeper, darker than the um, other Kylie lip kit I have. I can't remember the color of it. I don't even know where it is. Um, but it's definitely darker than that one. Like the Kylie lip kit I'm thinking of was a little bit paler. This is a little bit more like forest green. And then the final color we have is called Creep It Real, which is super cute. This is like the most wearable one, of course, of the whole collection. But also the most like not really unique as well like let's see if it is a must have this is such a luxe formula like very thick and creamy but not thick i don't know how to describe it like it goes on like it's thick but it's not feeling thick like it just feels smooth this one even feels different from that very first matte shade this is matte as well I'm a big fan of this shade. I definitely feel like I would have something else in my collection just like this though. Like I don't think it's super unique but it's beautiful. So yeah once again that's called Creep It Real and that sums up the last of the collection. Overall I think I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought that a lot of this stuff would be way more like crazy than it was. I think they did it smart you know like it's a Halloween themed collection but it's definitely some stuff that you could wear year round with the exception of maybe like a couple of the lip colors. So yeah that's my review. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything from this collection or if you're just like not interested like I initially was. I'm converted a little bit. Once again the only negative of those eyeshadows like I feel like they would definitely like I don't know falling out a little bit so if you are going to use them maybe just go in with your eyeshadow before your base and then that'll solve the problem. The highlighter definitely is not like a must have. I think it depends on your taste. Like for me it just like seems very stripy. Um, it's just like I don't I don't know how to describe it. Like it's pretty on a certain angle but for like everyday wear in my real life I just don't imagine myself reaching for this ever. You know for photos like yeah it's cute but I don't know that's probably like my least favorite and the gloss even though it's an amazing formula I'm just like not a fan of the color on myself let's just for fun apply a little bit of the gloss on top I'm just really gonna wipe it off so there's like barely anything on the wand you know what on top of the lipstick I don't hate it because it like really flatters that undertone and it definitely looks less like crazy and obviously I only put on a little amount like if that's really wearable I would wear that that way so there you go I don't dislike it as much as I thought I think it's definitely like you know for me it's just how you apply it <laughs> let me know if you would enjoy more videos like this on like certain makeup collections and I will talk to you guys in my next video oh and let me know what you think of the background as well like do you hate it is it okay like it's definitely quite easy for me and I feel like it's nice and bright like it's not as dull and dark when I have to use my studio lights I don't know anyway thumbs up Make sure you subscribe and hit those notifications. As always, I would really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.